friends I recently went to Lowe's and here is my haul I bought this set of 32 peat cells from Jiffy so it's basically these little cells that you grow your plants in and let me just open it so I opened it and you get four of them one two three four and uh, well 32 cells and it's just start your seeds and it'll be wonderful because I I potted up a bunch of tomato seedlings I sowed them and I over sowed them because I had five varieties and I sowed five of each and they're coming up so so I'm gonna have to split them up and I'll split them up in these so that I can give them away and I'll keep some and just directly transplant them into my garden and then over here I have seven pot single three inch pots seed starter kit so that's good also for tomatoes and stuff and to give away so it has the coconut coir or paper cups and then it has the outer holder and these are made to be round like in a circle so that's pretty cool and I can give peppers also which I planted I sowed a bunch of seeds for the peppers so that it could start early I did that in late February I also bought these seed potatoes there are four four potatoes in there four plants for $4.98 non GMO and they're already uh, making roots I'm just waiting for it to warm up and it's been raining a lot so I don't want them to rot and here are for 16 plants 698 for gladiolus mix and look at those beautiful colors next I have daylilies little missy and look at that beautiful color I love it so much and then I got some more ranunculus for 698 you get 12 plants and I love the way they look next I bought a bunch of seeds a lot of them are in duplicate but it's only because that way I can share it with fam family and friends people who have children who might want to grow some things um, and neighbors so here are pixie delight dwarf lupin and they look so pretty and it's a pot variety so you can just grow a bunch in in a pot and I got two of those and I arranged it by height so that if I put it in a bed up against a wall I can have the shorter ones up front and the taller plants in the back next I got some fairy morris sunflower topolino and this one is really small I was surprised I thought it was taller and then with many blooms but it's only two feet tall but it makes a lot of blooms and that's the reason why I, I got them but they're perfect for children so I got two of those next I love this color it's a new color I haven't seen it um, in the past it's a zinnia luminosa pink and it's really gorgeous a very solid pink I got two of those and they grow to be about two feet tall and I got Cosmos sensation mixed colors and I love it because there's a red one um, pink one white one so and purplish colored ones I got two of those and they grow to be three to four feet tall. Next, I got this sunflower moonshine, and I love how perfectly 
dark the center is and how frilly and and how th how wide the petals are and yellow so I got one of those and then I got this Stella sunflower and likewise with the very wide yellow petals it looks so pretty and kind of real soft dark brown in the center and these grow to be four to five feet tall so these I got two of and then in the smaller package so these smaller packages will be great as gifts Let's see sunflower red sun 75 days to bloom and it has a light like a reddish orange color great for fall but it's kind of weird because fairy it's also from the same company fairy morris red sun and these look darker so i'm not sure but i like them anyway i like um when i have variety in my garden and colors and this was this was just really really cute I love it. Sunflower Fun Sunny Hybrid Mix. Non-GMO. And look at how beautiful the colors are, including that little green yellow one, that tiny one. I don't know if it's just a baby that hasn't opened, but look at these pinks, yellow, orange. It just looks really, really pretty. So I got two of those. They grow to be four to six feet tall. And then by mistake, I don't know how I did it. <clears throat> I meant to only get two of these, but somehow I managed to get four of the Sunflower Magic Roundabout. But look at how gorgeous it looks. It's, it's really unique and how it's almost double layered and how the colors got the brown in the center, the orange, and then the yellow. So these are perfect. Since I have so many, I can gift these as well and then I wasn't paying attention that this is a perennial so I probably only needed one package but I've always wanted to grow rubecchia and I finally am getting the seeds for them I don't know I saw I saw a Rubecchia at the store. I don't know what variety it was, but the petals were much wider and these don't look as wide. But I just love the like how rich the yellow turns out to be against the the center. And these will be two to three feet tall. And I can re-gift one of the packages to somebody. And so I have Salvia Blue Better Sage. And look at all the flowers on there. That is gorgeous. It's going to attract a lot of pollinators. And it's, um, it doesn't use up that much water. And so it's um, three to four feet tall. And I just love how many blooms there are and how vibrant that purple is. Next, and I didn't notice, it's a perennial, so that's a bonus. Made in pinks. Look at how pretty those little blossoms are. If I grew them right next to the forget-me-nots, that would be great. If I remember. And these are 6 to 12 inches tall. And then, I believe I have this already, I'm not sure. But it's never a bad idea to get them because they're the giant cactus flowered colors zinnias i love the the pink yellow and white right there even including this pink right here but i love the colors and the shape and last but not least i got some aster seeds and now i'm thinking i should have gotten two of these because i love aster and it's Kriegel mixed colors non-gmo and I wish, <laughs> I wish a package came with separate like that so I can grow them in bunches of different colors instead of it being completely mixed up, but it's okay. And these grow to be 18 to 24 inches. And 
I just love this company. They make really quality seeds and I love that a lot of them are non-GMO and they're readily available and um, I don't have to pay for shipping or anything so that's a bonus and I support them by buying lots and lots of their seeds and I love to go to Lowe's so I kind of went crazy this time with the seeds again um, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one so we recently went to Lowe's again and I realized that I didn't have too many watermelon seeds so I decided to get this watermelon black diamond it's an heirloom and look at that the dark colored outer and then the inner is really red and it doesn't look like it has many seeds um, so we'll plant that and then this crimson sweet watermelon so I got two of the black diamond and then I got two evergreen bunching onions in case my garden bed onions doesn't grow too well and I love evergreen bunching type of onions I love them I put them in everything all my stir fry I have tomato rugers which I have not purchased I don't have any of those then I have sweet pepper pretty and sweet hybrid so it looks like it would be spicy but I like I like the different colors in it and bonus it's not too spicy sweet pepper quadrato da dasty rosso so I think I've seen that in other seed companies uh, but this one was available at the store directly so I got them sweet pepper rainbow blend mix I like the colors I uh, plan on doing a lot of uh, grilling and stir frying this year fairy morse pepper that's mild it's called the tam jalapeno and I like the colors as well and I have two of them because you can also stir fry with them um, then I got a hot pepper small cherry now it looks like my bird chilies but not quite so I'm just curious of the flavor and I really like them a little goes a long way then I got the Anaheim chili and I have some chili peppers that I'm trying to overwinter that are plants but it's been such a cold and very very wet winter that I don't know if they'll survive because chili peppers don't like to be as wet as tomatoes and basil and I got a Pasilla Bajo and then I got the basil lime and Italian flat leaf par parsley because um, that goes well in uh, shrimp diablo and other dishes summer squash I used up all my squash seeds last year I tried to plant three seeds and nothing came up and this year I planted them in an area that has a lot of leaves and I don't know if it'll come up and those seeds were old so I just decided to get a new batch and this is the first time I'll be growing black beauty the other one was just a regular I think a Ford hook and it did provide a lot of fruit three years ago when I grew a lot of zucchini so much I had to give them away and then I bought emerald okra because I'm used to buying the Clemson uh, spineless which I think won't get too hard and so I'm gonna give these a try as well try to harvest them when they're still young and I found some painted daisies I love the colors and they just make me feel happy and then I got little unwinds dwarf mixed colors dahlia and then this is my favorite I love the way it's striated and, and bordered candy striped cosmos 
Recently, we purchased 10 bags of miracle Grow Organic Choice raised bed and in-ground soil for fruits, vegetables, flowers, herbs, trees, and shrubs. They're normally $9.90 something um, per bag for quite a bit, 50 quarts, also 55 liters. So, um, normally there are nearly 10 bucks and then they were $2 off per bag. So we bought 10 bags. Sometimes I like to use this fresh stuff mixed in with our compost that we have. And also I know that these are weed seed free. So that's why I like to use these, um, while my compost is still composting down. So I like to use this in my seed starting mix as well. So it's a good buy and um, quite a lot of soil and a decent price when it's on sale. So we also got this $25 pack, three pack of pots and it is from Southern Patio from Costco and that's a great deal for three pots for $25 because these are large pots and they have drainage holes that you can open and shut and although they're plastic they look very durable and I'm gonna plant flowers and such in here hi friends recently my husband got me four trellises for my request from Costco garden trellis and that's what it looks like in the picture and so you can see the intricate like designs of leaves and birds and down at the bottom it has these sharp stakes to go into the ground that's why I like it and then I like how it's curved up here so you won't like poke your eyes out or anything in case you like we're up there doing something a little higher above so it's perfect and you can also like use some kind of um, pin to pin um, like tomato leaf tomato branches and stuff up there as well um, and I can use it for various things so I got four more the, um, this year the price went up it used to be $19.99 each and this year it was $22 and something for each. So, but I think it's still worth it for the ease of moving it around and it lasts a long time. It's really durable. And um, I haven't had any problems with the other ones that I've purchased. I have five others, so now I have nine.